Hey everybody, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. OMG, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Geeks Maddox. And we're here for part two of Indigo Prophecy, a.k.a. Fahrenheit, made by David Cage. So, um, yeah, last time we were a guy who killed a dude and we don't know why, and we were the detectives who looked around for clues as to who killed the dude and why. So it's cold, and it's New York. All right, we're ready to go. Are we ready to go, Skix? I'm ready to go. Okay. There's a psychopomp bird looking over the diner. Previously on Fahrenheit. Previously on Indigo Prophecy. Okay, good. Shake it off. I, I think the real mystery is why did it take him so long to piss? Maybe he had an oh. enlarged prostate. <laughs> Jeez. It was just a horrible nightmare. Well, I didn't kill anyone. Except, it kind of looks like he was making blood angels in his sleep. It does. The deer in his red That's... wings. Oh man! I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I'm gonna get ready and go to work. That'll uh, get my stress oh, level down. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. <laughs> Gotta make it stop. He has no body is that, here. Is that what it feels like? That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Is he, uh, is Lucas slightly Asian or is that just me? I think he's slightly Asian. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. Was that? I wonder if it was a Nietzsche book that he was reading at the diner. I don't remember. It might come up again. Because that would seem to me like perfectly fitting book for a killer to be reading. I can't Probably a little women. I'm not tired anyway. <laughs> I thought you were just making a general this comment about the bed, not relating to the room. book, and so... I change the sheets later. Yeah, blood stays, right? Or blood, uh, blood's easy to get out. That's fine, yeah. Holy shit, he must be doing pretty good for himself. This is a pretty goddamn big apartment for New York. Yeah. You think he's an artist? Hello? I don't remember. Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to mom and dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse. He looks like he's ready to throw that phone. He looks so pissed off. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in uh, half an what, hour. What, Lucas? I can't hear you. It's almost as if you have see the you phone there. nowhere near your mouth. So apparently he got up in the middle of the night and rubbed his forearms Yesterday, against the refrigerator. At 7.30 p.m. Lucas, that it's Tiffany. brief flashback, it showed him cutting his arm. Maybe I pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick use up... Use glass. Use glass. Oh, God, or use that correctly. What the hell are you doing Put it there? near your mouth. <laughs> I don't know how... I eschew the proper use of phones and milk cartons. So drinking milk made him feel better. Whoa, that's... what? Got a bonus Good. collectible. <laughs> Which also I think was kind of new at the time. But it didn't really tell us anything or do anything. It's not that much of a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so while he was stabbing him, he had flashbacks to being like a Templar or assassin or some shit. Now he's having flashbacks the clothes that I was to doing the stabbing. Night. They're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. He's a very confused young man. Thrill to the laundry scene. <laughs> non stop action. Uh, does he not have a dryer? He appears to just have a washer in the middle of his shower. Or in bathroom. Showering scene. I think 
like in one of the other David Cage movies, they actually make you play the shower. <laughs> actually, A B A B to scrub. Yep. Oh, time now to we're we. gonna be here for twelve and a half minutes. Oh, he doesn't have an enlarged prostate. Oh, that made us feel better. Good. Makes me feel better. And you, you just took a shower. How much water, how much moisturizing does your face need? All of it. Let's get some baby talcum powder all over me. Oh, so I guess those are bandages. So they're saving Luckily. on the mocap by doing it off screen. Being haunted by a chubby Rene Aubergenois. <laughs> Luckily, my day job at the boxing ring will. <laughs> it turns into like an angry dog now and then. Just. Arr, arr. All right, I think I'm ready for work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you get to play this soundtrack. Yeah. Featuring the hit single from Theory of a Dead Man, Say Goodbye. I hope I hope that isn't gonna like copyright us there. We have to just keep talking over it so that you can't actually hear this song. Buy it on iTunes, kids. <laughs> I wonder if the soundtrack is available on iTunes. I bet it is. I'm sure this song, at least, is available. New York I may have Police. to get it now that I know Please the Battle the of part of it. Get ready! There's a quick time event coming up! Is this guy gonna turn into a giant lice thing? Hey, that would be cool. That? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Was he just getting a flash of the worst that could happen? Yes, I think that's correct. Mind. He's getting a prophecy, comma, mm. indigo. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so is this game set in the future? I don't know. I think it's... Because he has like a hologram thing, but some pretty low-res graphics on the hologram computer. I like how we have like a... John Woo esque three shot of him looking at his computer. Yeah, it's it's nonstop action in in uh, Indigo Prophecy. Looks like he might have a D and D GM manual back there. Oh, there's a chest. Open up the chest. There could be treasure, dude. Make sure and blow up any barrels. You say. Okay, let's turn off the copyrighted music just uh, just in case here. Oh, mail in um, the door. Hey, mail in the door. Look, I'm more observant than you. <laughs> you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to give up that that you are not actually playing this. Yeah, I guess so. Is that uh, a pen well, he just picked up? I couldn't quite see. I have no idea. Whoa, that got really New York quiet. Police, please open the door. Police, they know. They could come to arrest me. Um. So what what he did was he Police, in, open in the up. course of his just a minute I'm coming morning routine he covered up I all the blood find any evidence yeah last night. if he hadn't by the time he gets that little prophecy he he's got to really rush around the apartment and got it make the bed Sir, throw this the is the New York Police this is Martin from the bar <laughs> are you Lucas Kane yes Mr Kane the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? No. <sighs> Whatever. Go ahead. That's not probable cause. You didn't well, have to say yes. Right. What happened to your But wrist, if he does sir? say yes... I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. And now he Holy obviously God. looked down and you saw the you go all the envelope. way, don't you? Yeah.
So the neighbors said you were screaming out, God, oh God, why did I kill that guy? Uh, <laughs> any reason you would have screamed that with the broken glass? Uh... I'm just going to keep turning my back to you because I'm really suspicious. So that seems uh, the best thing to do here. Where's your dryer? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. How much no, you put down for this apartment? Everything that's been uh, going on. Uh, pretty swank. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane. Don't be late for your seven million dollar rent check, either. That's probably the notice under the door. He's late with his rent. Mm. The end. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the whole game. Get, you get your mail, for God's get, sake. <sighs> huh. No alley, no mail. Okay, so we're gonna play some more Lucas. The Park. When Marcus and I Minus were kids, 10 Celsius. Why is the temperature the in Celsius? Especially if the game is called the Fahrenheit. Grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. But you did have something to do with it. Like, you, you vividly remember murdering the dude. Hey, you little son of a bitch, come here. Come here. Give me your lunch money, you son of a... That's how all New York kids talk. <laughs> That's how all children talk. Then I remembered, I don't know anything about this park or where he might be. Bonus! Woo! Shit, yeah. I don't know what that does, but we are in the money now. <laughs> Come here, you rat bastard. We'll take your other ear off. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. It's been a while. Oh, I thought that Two was years. Marcus's little so meter going up happened. since he said, I'm happy to see you. I've killed a man, Marcus. Whoa, 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 it whoa. At a restaurant <laughs> last night. It's like I was possessed. Too soon. In a sort of trance. Like I guess I was he doesn't believe burying the leaf. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. So you you're still seeing this, Kathy? Uh... Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. And there's this, too. I have hands. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. It's a little circle and then the uh, letter yeah. F. I don't Tiffany know why I would do that. We broke up about a month ago. I try to get out of the apartment as much as possible. You know, kill a few Just times. So empty there without her, you know. It's really cold, really cold out there. You should be wearing you're a hat. in a sort of a trance. What do you mean by that? You talking Wh about magic? Wait, are we playing Marcus? Something like that? It looks Marcus, like you're playing both sides of the conversation I'm just you for some what reason. Happened, that's all. <laughs> About Is Marcus even I'm real? The one who really killed that man. Maybe that's an important question. Who knows? Who I like that as, as an answer. No one. You're the only person that I can trust. Powers? Ooh, let's ask about powers. There's something else you need to know. I know this sounds crazy, but I can fly. after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Listen, Lucas, I... I think those kids are on a loop. I'm a bit lost here. Yeah. This whole story is just so bizarre. It might be better. They're very far Maybe apart for having go. a secret conversation. I know, really these kids can hear the entire thing, obviously. Turn yourself in. Before they find um, you. this guy Do told the priest he murdered someone. A story like that? That's nice, throw honey. Me in prison for the rest of my life, and I'll never find out what really happened. Billy, his ear back. I am a priest. I, I, I don't get the whole like the play conversations as if they're quick time. It's a very event. serious matter. I told you that it wasn't I'm me. Still Marcus. kind of developing the, the whole years, concept of the quick time you event. still never listen to me, Lucas. Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and this my is, brother. This is how David Cage plays. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. You really won't do Look, whatever I, you can. I need to get Marcus. some answers. 
I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Marcus, you know that I don't believe in all that. Take it. This is an adventure Thanks. game. You take whatever the hell you can get. If he offers you a stick, you take it. The stick might be needed to poke a gnome later down the <laughs> trail here. Is that what you kids are calling also, it these days? <laughs> it, why are we calling it the park when, like, it's a big park in the middle of New York? It's obviously meant to be Central Park, right? Well, the kid's gonna die. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. Let's go home. On the ice. I've got to stop him. The cop in the restaurant. So call attention to yourself if you go and grab a child. If I don't do something, the child will die. Yeah, if I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Looks like the kid just died already. Cool if I just molest him a little, like he doesn't know anything. Back up before I run out of air. Maybe I should stop narrating while I'm striving for air. Now you have to input the Konami code to do CPR. Okay, if I just sneak away now, then the cops won't notice me. What happens One, if you press two, it too early? Three. Do you like collapse his rib cage? One, I don't know. Three. One, Our player is too two, good at the game three. for us to know what the, the fail yeah. condition is. Patrol three two four. Kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what we have a national hero down. here. That guy's a hero. Do, 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 do. Dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. Martin from the bar approves. We both knew it. That's it's hard to say from the why bar. he didn't turn me in. Mm. Maybe he decided I was even. I had taken a life and given one back. I'm gonna let him go Nothing because really he did a good deed, even I though he's a brutal murderer. By the police. But when Way I left go. that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. You know, Martin from the bar is a really complex okay, character. Really okay. <laughs> Yes. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. Ten degrees Celsius. I'm exhausted. I haven't got. It's ten degrees Celsius inside the police department. It seems cold. It does seem cold. I, just I don't think that's what they mean. My finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing? <laughs> you say hi, Carly? Hi, Doug. <laughs> Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? Prescient. No, that I know. I just love that Disney so, show here in the near future. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> wow, he knows all the bonus cards. Yeah. Rick, you left your bonus card in the alley again. Or in the... What would that be? Narthex? Whatever the hell that is. Narthex, wow. Mr. Vocabulary. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we have a two-shot here. Hey, Carla, can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he Don't owes me? Don't this old patch. I've been waiting six months for it now. <laughs> Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk Just to him about it. Just talking to Jeffrey He's made been avoiding tenser. me like the plague. Plus, you know, you're punch the him. only Just one he punch him. to. Right in the face. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Why does he got arm guarders on? You don't see those uh -huh. much these days. No. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Did, did you say hi, Carly, too? Carla. What? <laughs> I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll Little come and see you. Bit of trivia okay, this game actually I'll be my desk all morning. influenced the creation of iCarly. I love how the like beat cops have that kind of like turn down lapel piece. Like there's got to be a term for that. Probably is. It's a term well, for those, everything. 
Those jeans do not fit her well. They're not flattering. Blame the polygons. Co Coffee would have given her a plus ten. Probably. Tyler is still not here. I better try to give him a ring. What time is it according to my giant freakish blocky fist? That was my porn name. <laughs> yeah. Know what time it is? Oh shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. I'm on my way. So she's a lieutenant and he's a sergeant. I don't know which is higher. I think a lieutenant's higher, right? Yes. Well, until he's here, I guess I can just read up on some old files. Get some cat videos. No. With Maybe. Levitating computer monitor. Catch an episode of iCarly on Disney.com. Man, there are just bonus cards everywhere. So she has an old school monitor, but a really bizarrely futuristic keyboard. Yeah. Hunch in a little closer there, Carla. Valium? Oh, okay. You have spam in this. That's kind of cute. I've been very busy with my job. Tommy Wiseau. It's all happened before Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, but I better have some more water to undo the tenseness it caused. Kirsten. Just search Kirsten. Come on, do it. You know you want to. Yes! <laughs> How many Kirstens are going to be in the New York City database? Of database of whatever. Classified file. Match found one? So, one Kirsten match? Case. Huh. I would have liked to find out more. It's not that unusual a name. No. Donatello embarrassed me. Ninja Turtle swears he will do better. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, those weather reports, they're all just uh, fortune telling or indigo prophecies. John Ackerman, the American president, because that's that's how New York papers read. Barack Obama, the American president. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Okay, now we're Tyler's apartment. Oh, we need to I've play seen... another waking up and getting dressed sequence. <laughs> I've seen enough of these videos Let's to know how this goes. <laughs> Sorry, babe, but I really This is the aftermath of one of those videos. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, is, and then I'm out of here. You have crossbones makeup on? What the hell is going on there? Crossbones, the DC villain. Man, I love watching her when she's sleeping. Creepy. It's not I've creepy, been right? Two years now. She still rocks my world. The way she did the first time I ever saw. Why is his face inordinately pale? Because she sucked the lifeblood out of him. I thought you were in a hurry. Oh, yeah, I know what's going on here. See, I told you. Hey, I've seen I enough of these got videos. Two minutes for you, babe. Late like for work, Tyler. <laughs> Only two minutes? Uh, yeah, you, you know about my issue. <laughs> okay, so that was what. So with. Tyler, we had to just bang our chick. That was our whole... <sighs> oh, look. Inside her vagina is a bonus card. Yeah, Carla. I'm on my way. Uh, yeah, I know. No, I... I'm, no, I, I'm on I my way. No problem, so I'm... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm coming. Right. I just gotta wipe the lotion off my face. <laughs> Hey, baby, let's make out now. <laughs> she probably oh, won't call again. Okay, this time I really am out of here. 
Oh, just some isometrics first. Yeah. What a wallpaper. I was just noticing that. It's like a big <laughs> cheese grater for walls. I was thinking of like, you know, those socks that it was like no slip socks. Mm. Oh, bonus card. Bonus card. Fuck yeah. All right, Time 11 and a half be. minute. Now John comes out and stabs the shit, or Lucas comes out and stabs the shit out of you. Nobody flushes in this game, and it kind of upsets me. That's the the source of it all. He's a serial killer who just doesn't like people who don't flush. Mm. Oh, yeah. Smooth chance. So you get to see more of his shower than Lucas's. If you don't wash the lotion off your face before she gets there, then, uh, I don't know, something happens. Still wearing the shorts. And he didn't get the lotion off his face. Hey, you're a good-looking guy, you know that? <laughs> Looking right. at yourself in the mirror reduces tension, all right. It does if you're a good-looking guy. Mm. Put some damn clothes on. Looks like he has a, uh, like a soda vending thing in the middle of the room there, doesn't it? It does kind of look like that. No. Kind of rude of him to... Kind of rude yeah. of him to make her wear her age on her t-shirt there. It's an outfit. Eh, I probably don't need a badge or anything. Oh, I guess this is the rest of the... Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. But it's 10 degrees Celsius, Sam. Sam. Please don't, Scott. I've got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning, I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. Ironic? I know how you feel, Sam. Isn't that ironic? Out there. But if nobody does anything, it's all gonna go to shit. We're gonna have kids someday. I wanna leave them a world that's a little better than the one we got now. But why does it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal yeah, life Yeah, Tyler, like everybody Jesus. Else? Why do I have to wonder if you're gonna die every day? Conciliatory. I'm just not made for that kind of <laughs> life, Sam. I've been around too much violence all my life to go live some kind of normal life like that. I know you love me, babe. So try to understand me, too. Maybe this is a conversation we should have had earlier in the relationship. Carrie Moss is very sad. <laughs> he didn't get any points for drinking his coffee, I don't think. No, nope, getting points for this. I love you, Tyler. Whatever, babe. In his 70s apartment. Oh, yeah. We're going downtown with Tyler. Does it get a funky soundtrack? Hi, Carly. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. See, yeah. look, that little downturn lapel so, look. Like, what yeah. the hell is Tyler, that? Man. Yeah. Know. <laughs> I'm what working you would on call it. that. Anyway, I got a stand-in desk because the sciatic is real bad this week. What do you think? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, poor Carla didn't get anything like this. Like Lucas gets like Angelo hey, Badalamenti. Tyler, what do you know? Just the guy I was looking. Look, it's for. the douchebag. Everybody's you brought down by douchebag. You about six months ago. I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, Frosted for glasses. example. Jeffrey, do you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ? Because he believes in you. And way up in the clouds, he's telling you, money has no value, Jeffrey. The only thing that really matters is love, man. That's real funny, Tyler. <laughs> Now give me my hundred bucks before I get really pissed. Explain your arm garters. They disturb me. <laughs> Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll He's in mourning for Superman. For your hundred bucks. 
If you win, I'll give you 200 bucks right then. But if you lose, be cool. You'll give me 200 bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. But in the meantime, I have a background soundtrack to take care of. I didn't even hear what the hell that bet was. It just doesn't make any sense. The waitress to me. hasn't come in Basketball yet. Basketball game. She won't be long. Mm. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? I right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. I just gotta take off my coat. A B A B A B A B. A B A B A B A B A B. That's what he chants in the bedroom. That's what I chant in the bedroom. Okay, so Tyler just seems like... Like he has no focus whatsoever. It's uh, ADHD. Uh, Fiction. Sad. Won an award. Alright, so... We've hit a little bit over half an hour here. I think we're just gonna leave... Tyler for the moment maybe come back next time and see what the uh, waitress has to say and <laughs> figure out our bet with Jeffrey see what's going on there and yes. uh, yeah it'll be it'll be awesome so uh, until then uh, I hope you guys are enjoying <laughs> in go prophecy we are about a third of the way through or maybe this is part one of two but we're about a third of the way through of at least the first part and so far we've um Killed a dude and tracked ourselves down, which is a little odd. Don't don't normally get that out of a game. Slightly masturbatory. More than slightly. <laughs> I would say solely masturbatory. But until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Skixmatics. And we are...